I find that reflective practice in my job role is it's, it's lifelong. It's got to be used to improve who I am. It improves me in my role to perform to the best I possibly can. And it gives a better outcomes for the staff, for the patients and for myself. Reflective practice means to me a process of development and insight building to yourself as a professional. It's something that if you don't learn from each new situation, then you're not going to progress. And I, I guess as an example, people say to you, you should change your job if you can do it standing on your head, it's that easy. In our world, it never gets that easy. It's always complex. There's always something new. There's always something that needs to be learnt. So reflective practice is a really important part of that because it helps you go for next time. Maybe I need to try this or maybe we need to go with that or maybe we should not go with that. It just helps you work out the good, the bad and take things forward. I think from my point of view, as, as quite experienced in the field, there's a tendency if you don't routinely use reflective practice to almost not become questioning of your own practice and not incorporating uh, new ways of addressing familiar issues or incorporating new practice. Um, and to think, well, I'm highly experienced, I'll just do it the way I've always done it. So it's kind of a self-challenging, self-correcting mechanism, which I think really is vital when it comes to um, professional regulation, in a sense, because so much of what you potentially do um, is hidden from view. Um, so it really is being, a lot of it is about being honest with yourself as a practitioner and you know, always accepting that, you, that, that learning is ongoing. For me, I suppose reflective practice is a really, really important part of working. Um, if you're working with people, I think you really owe it to yourself and to them to be able to take the time to reflect on what you're doing and how the work is going um, and to think about what that means for your future plans and your future work. Um, as a psychologist, it is a core part of what we do. Uh, we have, say, monthly supervision. That's a requirement if you're doing our job. It's a really, really important part of being a psychologist and it's a really kind of valued part of your month as well. You're almost like looking forward to supervision and having those conversations. And they can be challenging. And sometimes there's, you know, you're starting to realise, oh, actually, I hadn't thought about that I hadn't realised that maybe I was bringing that into the room and into my relationships with the patients or the other staff or the, the wider system. Um, so it's kind of an experience to properly evaluate yourself and in doing so evaluate your work. I think reflective practice is an individual thing. I don't think you can describe it per se. I think people sometimes, it works for people to write it down. Um, some people keep a journal. Um, some people will then kind of go on and do some further reading or, or some education around, you know, where they feel that they need that kind of additional information. For me, it's just a case of maybe when I'm doing the dishes at home at night, I'll, I'll think about what's happened in the day and just try and work through it. And, and sometimes I do use a journal um, just to kind of put down what I did and what I feel I should have done. Sometimes we have newly qualified staff and they, you're their role model and they're watching how you work and you deliver the care and you're empowering them to gain knowledge and understanding. And like um, we do clinical supervisions and we just have team meetings. You know, if like we've had like a very busy day and like sometimes you're that busy, you can't think straight and then we just chill for five minutes and go, well, we did this and we're fine and every, all the patients are safe because that's the main priority. I think reflecting in the MDT is really important as well. Um, so we discuss things at our MDT meetings and I think kind of for whole patient care it's really important to get the views of other team members. Um, people might contribute things that you've not really thought of or you might get new information in those situations and it makes you go back and kind of reflect and think about um, the care that you're providing. Whatever care that you're giving, you you need to reflect on why you're doing that to ensure that the, the best quality is given to the patients and you need to include the patients and the families in it as well. So it, it's just making sure generally 
we're all on the same and taking other people's ideas as well you know we all get together take ideas from each other you know my ideas aren't always the right ones you know so within reflective practice we can all get together and see what was good what wasn't too good what we can do better you know and it, it's in that way the patients get the best experience and the staff are well looked after as well I think in our busy lives, uh, we, we, we get on with, with what we have to do, but reflective practice allows us that moment to be able to just think and put perspective on how things have gone. It allows us to be honest and recognise where we've done well, so actually congratulate ourselves on, on areas that we've done well, but also, on the other hand, look at areas that we could have done better and be able to um, improve practice. So I think reflective practice is, is a very positive activity to engage in.